In this video, we are going to talk about fasciola hepatica life cycle. Fascia hepatica is also called liver fluke as it attacks the liver cells in the body of human or cattle or cow, sheep, etc. It is a parasitic trematode. It causes fasciolysis. Now, how it enters in our body? Fasciola hepatica cyst usually remains present in the water plants. These are the cysts of the fasciola hepatica. In this cyst form, uh, it looks uh, somehow like this in the microscope. This cyst form is having the encysted metasarcaria stage of fasciola hepatica. When an animal like human or other cattle consume the water plants, the cyst of the fasciola hepatica, the encysted metasarcaria, enters through our mouth and goes through the gastrointestinal tract. This is the gastrointestinal tract. It travels from the mouth and going through the stomach, it reaches the small intestine. After reaching the small intestine, the fasciola metasarcaria penetrates the wall of the duodenum and reaches the liver. It attacks the liver cells and also the gallbladder. This is the region of the duodenum and the liver and the gallbladder connecting to the duct of the pancreas and when even the fasciola metasarcaria reaches this region of the duodenum it penetrates the wall of the duodenum and reaching the gallbladder and the liver and, and attacks the liver cells the hepatic cells when it enters into our body it is the metasarcaria which is encysted but after entering in the liver uh, it the cyst raptures and it forms the adult fasciola and the fasciola have its sexual life cycle inside the body of human or cattle and this adult fasciola again forms other type of cyst this cyst is the encysted miracidium stage of the fasciola this miracidium, the encysted miracidium, goes out of the body, of our body, through the feces. So in the feces of the infected human or infected cattle, we get the miracidium fasciola, the encysted fasciola miracidium. This fasciola miracidium, when goes to the water, it reaches or it consume it gets consumed by the snails snail is the secondary host of the fasciola hepatica fasciola hepatica spends its its asexual life cycle inside the snail so after reaching the snail body the miracidium the encysted miracidium the cyst raptures and from the miracidium it forms the stage of the larva it forms the stage the sporocyst larva after the sporocyst it becomes another type of larva inside the body of the snail this larva is called the radial larva after the radial larva it forms another kind of larva that is the sarcaria larva the sarcaria larva looks like this after formation of the sarcaria larva the sarcaria larva leaves the body of the snail and through the water it reaches the water plants and in in the water plants the the sarcaria larva after reaching the water plants it forms the metasarcaria cyst and these cysts remain in in the water plants when these water plants are consumed raw or not so well cooked these cyst enters the body of the human or the cattle 
and forms the fasciolysis. For pathogenicity, symptoms, treatment and control, I have made a written form. Go to the description. There is a link. In that link, you can find that and read it. If you find this video helpful, please tell me in the comment. Thank you so much. See you next time.